Hey all, I'm Tom Miller with KXN. We welcome you to the 2021 Cycle Nation Austin Digital Celebration on behalf of the American Heart Association. I want to thank everyone who's joining us today and the supporters who've given to Cycle Nation Austin this year. It is because of people like you and the AHA that it, we're able to host these events like this one and raise the life-changing funds that impact lives in Austin and really all around the world. Before we kick things off, don't forget, you can follow all the fun right now on our Facebook page. You, you will find that at American Heart TX. You can share your Cycle Nation pictures and videos with the hashtag ATX Cycle Nation so that we can see you, we can give you a shout out for your commitment to longer and healthier lives. We wanna see all your smiling faces throughout the event today. We want to start off this great event with a heartfelt shout out to all of our Cycle Nation Austin sponsors. This event, of course, would not be possible without you. Thank you to our presenting sponsor, Comfort Systems, and also all our local sponsors, including Texas Cardiac Arrhythmia, Abbott, 100 Black Men of Austin, Texas Air Systems, Walker Engineering, J.E. Dunn Construction, Power Plumbing, Rosenden Electric, Watkins Insurance Group, Spartan Reinforcing, and of course, KXAN and the Simple Health Team. Thank you so much. We also wanna recognize the entire 2021 Cycle Nation Austin Executive Leadership Team. This team of dedicated business and community leaders has been instrumental in the success of Cycle Nation this year. Thank you all so much. And then lastly, but certainly not least, I wanna give a huge shout out and an introduction to our 2021 campaign chair. And that is of course, Doug Savage with Comfort Systems. Thank you, Doug, for your leadership, your dedication to the American Heart Association and also to Cycle Nation Austin. Thank you so much, Tom, and good morning, Austin. I am excited to be joining everyone today for 2021 Cycle Nation Austin. On behalf of the American Heart Association and Comfort Systems, we welcome you. At Comfort Systems, we are committed to helping people build better, healthier lives and stronger communities. We understand that the first step to living your best life is good health. That is exactly why we teamed up with the American Heart Association for this event, and we are proud to be the presenting sponsor of 2021 Cycle Nation Austin. To start, I'd like to give a shout out to our team captains and everyone who signed up or donated in support of this fantastic event. 
The money you, your friends and family have raised is going to support research and education that will change lives for generations to come. And now we wanna remind everyone why we're here today, to support stroke patients and stroke re research across Central Texas. We have an amazing story to share with you all this morning. Crystal Howard suffered a stroke at the young age of 34. As a former TV reporter, she covered health topics, including American Heart Association's Wear Red Day and talked on air about women's health, but never thought it would happen to her. One day, Crystal awoke with a migraine that wouldn't go away. She is here with us today to share her story. Crystal, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much, Doug. You're exactly right. Um, it is the story that we told about other people, but I never expected for it to be my story. And it is important today, I, I'm grateful to be able to share this, because I think it's important for everybody listening to know not only why what you're doing matters by being part of this event, but also to be aware that not everybody fits the typical profile for a stroke victim and a stroke survivor. I never dreamed I would have that title. I'm very blessed to have the latter part of that title and be a survivor who can talk about my story but you're exactly right. I woke up with a migraine. I'd long suffered with migraines, so that didn't seem like a big deal, um, but it got worse and worse. And I reached over to wake up my husband because it was so painful. I felt like I was going to be sick. And when I reached over to wake him up and speak, nothing came out. It was strange gibberish and not actual words. That's when I knew something was different and something was wrong. Um, and we went to the ER to get checked out. But this is where an important part of my story comes in because, you know, we're all so busy and we all want to trust the experts. And the doctor said, you're a migraine sufferer. I think this might just be a migraine. And he gave me the option. Do you want to do imaging? Well, I didn't want to be the squeaky wheel. And frankly, I didn't want to stay there any longer than I had to because I had a busy day of work ahead. And so I said, you know what? No, I can tough this out. I went home to take medicine and power through. And that's exactly what I did for a week. I actually powered through uh, work and meetings. Um, I don't know how I did it until finally a coworker said, listen, something's going on with you and I think you need to go get checked out again. And so uh, that was my wake up call. And when I went back this time they did imaging and it was immediately clear that I had been having a series of ischemic strokes and progressively doing more damage to my brain. Um, and so, you know, I think that if anything you can take away from my story today, I hope it is that number one, don't ever let your health be lower than the other things on your to-do list because you can't do any of those things if you don't take care of yourself first. And that should have been, I wish I had listened to that and had that imaging done the first uh, time I had the chance. And then the second one is it's okay to be an advocate for yourself. Um, it's okay to be the squeaky wheel who pushes for a little bit more testing because it's that important. And then the third thing is you just have to take the time to really stop and get well. And I, and I didn't do that. And so it could have been a lot worse. I'm extremely grateful to be able to not have long-term lasting effects because that's not the case for everybody. And so I, I hope that um, you, everybody here who's in attendance continues this great work and spreads the message to raise awareness. And thank you so much for being part of this because it really does mean everything. Um, to survivors like myself. Wow, what what an incredible story, uh, Crystal. Thank you for sharing that. Great advice. As a stroke survivor myself, I know how important listening to your body is and recognizing signs fast. We are here today because of survivors like Crystal, and we are so grateful to have her join us. Her story is a prime example of why the work of the mission of the AHA must continue so that heart and stroke survivors have more time with their loved ones. Thank you, Crystal. Now, I know that everyone has been waiting for an update on our, on our special 2021 Cycle Nation Austin Move More Team Challenge. I'm going to pass it back to Tom to share our results so far. So far. Tom, give us the news. All right, thank you, Doug. And Crystal, again, that story was so incredible. Thank you for sharing as well. Um, it was just amazing to hear what you've been through and, and, and how you've recovered. Um, I am excited to share these results, Doug. This year's Cycle Nation Austin was 
a month long experience where people could define their ride and get active in any way that they want. Of course, we're all still uh, working through the pandemic. So we've gotten creative here. On Monday, May 10th, we launched the first of four weekly team-friendly challenges. And we asked all of our sponsors, team captains and team members to get out, get, get active, show your support for the American Heart Association. I am very excited to say that we are all collectively uh, raising a combined 98,000 minutes. Well, that's how long we were active for. We're gonna share how much we raised in just a little bit, but that is absolutely incredible. 98,040 activity minutes. So thank you to everyone who shared your activity minutes with us and are sharing those photos with us online. Today marks the last day of our final Move More Challenge Week. At 11.59 tonight, our activity tracker is gonna close and all of our winners will be determined and announced on Monday. So let's take a look at the leaderboard right now and see how everyone is doing. For my competition junkies out there, this is your last day to make your big move, climb up the ranks on the leaderboard. Today is the day to clock those final minutes, run those last few miles, get to that goal. The AHA team has made it easy for you. I encourage everyone on this call to join us this afternoon. Get active with your friends at Cycle Bar who have offered exclusive stationary cycling classes for everyone as part of the Cycle Nation experience. If you are able, find your way over to Cycle Bar Cedar Park for a safe socially distanced ride that you of course will not forget. Be sure to sign up with your slot through Jordan Dawson whose contact information is in the chat box if you need to find that. We hope to see you there. And stay tuned on Monday, we're gonna announce our most active individual, most active company and the four teams that will be crowned the Move More Team Challenge winners. But I think we need to give out a few awards today, Doug. What do you think about that? Absolutely, sounds great, Tom. We know that everyone worked so hard this year to raise money for the American Heart Association and we wanna recognize that. So thank you so very much. Let's get things kicked off by recognizing all the teams who not only reach, but surpass their goal of raising 1,000 each. Fantastic job to all the teams. And now it is my honor to present the award for the top individual fundraiser this year. This hurt person has been outstanding in their individual efforts to fundraise and support the American Heart Association. Without further ado, the winner is Allison Madigan. Allison, congratulations and thank you so very much. We cannot thank you for your incredible impact on 2021 Cycle Nation Austin and for everything you've done to support the American Heart Association. For our last award, I would like to thank one incredible organization for their overall impact on our 2021 Cycle Nation Austin event. This organization went above and beyond to give AHA the support, to give the AHA and support stroke research. Please join me in a round of applause for Texas Air Systems as we present to them this award for the highest overall impact. Thank you so much again to everyone who signed up, participated and to support our 2021 Cycle Nation. We appreciate everything that you did to show your support and we are very, very grateful. And now Tom, back to you to close us out. All right, thank you, Doug. I am thrilled to say we have crossed the finish line for the 2021 Cycle Nation Austin 30 day experience. Thank you to everyone for participating in today's digital celebration the American Heart Association mission to be a relentless force for a world of longer, 
healthier lives that would not be possible without you. Again, we want to thank our amazing sponsors one last time, our presenting sponsor, Comfort Systems, and our local sponsors, Texas Cardiac Arrhythmia, Abbott, KXAN, 100 Black Men of Austin, Texas Air Systems, Walker Engineering, J.E. Dunn Construction, Power Plumbing, Rosenden Electric, Watkins Insurance Group, and Spartan Reinforcing. And another final thank you to the executive leadership team and all our team captains and participants. Before I leave you, before we leave you, we just received word from the team that we have a very special announcement. Please join me in a virtual round of applause for our fearless 2021 Cycle Nation Austin Chair, Doug Savage, who has agreed to join us next year as chair for 2022 Cycle Nation Austin. Thank you, Doug, for your incredible leadership, your dedication, and your support on behalf of KXAN and the Simple Health team. It has been Austin, awesome celebrating with you today. Also, one more final announcement, which is that we have surpassed our goal of raising $100,000. It is just an incredible achievement that all of y'all have been able to come together on uh, and raise this huge sum of money for a cause that really makes a difference. Thank you all so much again, and we cannot wait to see you again next year. Take care, everyone, and go get out there and stay fit and exercise.